Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what gets into a little bit of thinking. And Jessica, this is the really important thing because I can show you guys how to find the area of parallelograms all day long, right? Yes. But here's where I want you guys to be able to think and apply stuff that we've learned before that you might see on a test, but you might see on a later test, all right? So the important thing is label our information, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, so do we have a base? Kristen, do you see that we have a base? Yes. What's our base? Well, that is on the base, that's right, but is that the whole distance of the base? No, so do we know the whole distance of this base? What's the whole distance of the base? 10, right, because it's a parallelogram. Remember, parallelograms add out, have opposite sides that are equal, right? You guys hopefully remember when we went over the properties of parallelograms? Yeah. Opposite sides of parallelograms are equal. So we can say that's 10. So if that's three and the whole side is 10, you can say that's seven. And the whole side's 10, which equals the base, right? So good, so now we found the base. And the next thing, Dennis, is the height, right? Do you see the height in this triangle, though? You see it? Yes, no, Marvin, what do you think? Is the height represented there? Three. Three. Five, yes. From the base to the top, yeah. From here to here is how tall? Three. We don't know. Well, we don't know. It's okay oh, not we'll to know. Out. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Now remember, a lot of students, if I don't give them the height, they will make the mistake in saying five is the base. But remember, guys, if you're going to measure me, you're going to measure me from straight to the bottom, straight to the top of my head. Not from over there to up to the top of my head. Right? Hold on just a little bit, Alexandra. So... <clears throat> What you're going to want to do is we have a triangle here. And we've learned a lot of things with triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this triangle. It's a right triangle. That's 3. That's 5. And we know that this length is going to be the height. Is there anything that starts with the Pythagorean that we might be able to use for this? The Pythagorean theorem, right? So we can go and apply the Pythagorean theorem to solve for this. So I can say 5 squared equals 3 squared plus h squared. So therefore I have 25 equals 9 plus h squared minus 9 minus 9. 16 equals h squared, square root, square root, 4 equals h. So now I have 4 equals to h. Do you guys see how that? See how that takes a couple extra steps? Now what else I could have done? I could give you a, I could give you a 45, 45, 90 triangle and have you guys do that. I could give you guys a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Those are all different ways that we can make you guys learn to be able to find what the height is using past information. So now to find the, to find the area, area equals base times height. That makes sense a little bit? Yes, now would be an excellent time to sharpen un lapis.